Hey guys, it's uh, Carl here, Cultivate with Carl, and it is time for your garden update. Uh, there's a lot happening in the garden. It is, uh, we're rolling into, I don't even know what day it is. Um, that's the problem working midnight shift. You don't know what day it is. But I know it's Monday, so it's time for a garden update. So what we're going to do today is look at the beds as they stand now, and uh, we are going to plant everything next Sunday. And the reason why we're waiting for next Sunday is on Friday night, Saturday night, there's supposed to be a frost. So, like, uh, Friday night's supposed to get down to 30-something, and then for sure Friday night, or Saturday night, 32. So, uh, it's actually starting to sprinkle right now. So, let's flip around and let you look at the beds real quick. And then we'll go look at the, the production table over there. So, uh, here we go, flipping you around. All right, there's my ever-diligent dachshunds looking out for the squirrels. Uh, here's the potato bed, and you have all the potatoes are coming up very nice. This is uh, pretty exciting. I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, we're going to walk over this way first. These are store-bought tomato plants. Now, they're, no, they're looking a little wilty. It's in the midday. It's been a little warm today. First day, it's gotten up to almost 80 uh, and so they're looking a little wealthy. Hit them with a little water, stood them back up. They were blown over. They'll be good to go. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. The lettuce, um, let me get that off of there. This one's doing really well. I'm not really sure what's going on with these two, but that's okay. They're store bought, bought on a whim. Here's another one of the, uh, it says strawberries, but this is a tomato plant. And, uh, so this bed is going to be lettuce and tomatoes and i'm going to put the tomatoes in in like a checkerboard pattern uh you'll kind of see what i'm talking about in a minute uh that was a little extra tomato plant that was going to die so it ended up in there probably not his final home these are ooh, do i got an aphid nope these are roma tomatoes in the buckets so and look they're properly marked so there you go here we have potato 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 and I don't remember which type it's which, but as they start to grow up, I'm going to fill the bags up to the top with soil. Now this right here is going to be my primary tomato bed, and I'm goofing around with the square foot garden method. But because of the length of the bed, I'm going to have a little room on each end. So those are going to be for my water hookups right there. I'm going to bring the water hose around and then run the, the uh, drip hose down two sides this was the birdies raid bed it did not come with the center supports and i added enough dirt that made it bulge so i don't know how i'm going to deal with that i will have to figure that out in the future but essentially i'm going to mark all the way down uh you know the string is 12 inches from this side but not 12 inches from that side because right in here there's a bulge uh, that's okay no, not a problem First world problem, first world gardening problems. These are gonna be my squash beds. We're gonna put uh, squash plants in them. This is gonna be peppers and bell peppers, cucumbers and stuff like that. I, I gotta see if they go together. And then this right here, you can see my carrots are coming up. So those are all, uh, these first two rows right here are, um, I don't remember, uh, what kind of carrots they were, but those are Danner's carrots. I gotta get in there in a couple more days and thin them out, and that'll be that. I redid my compost pile. Currently, uh, some of the neighbors have been helping me out by supplying me some stuff for the compost. But uh, what's cool about this, check that out, 150 degrees. Um, this one is cooking. You can feel the heat off of this one. This one, not so much. And I'm not really sure what the mix difference was, but we'll have to figure it out. So up here is I'm putting all my starts outside to harden them off. And this is a story of success and failure. So the cucumbers are all these plants. I just sprayed them with water. Uh, success, success, success. Um, you know, I really wish I knew what kind of tomatoes those were because they don't look like tomato plants at all. They're supposed to be Everglades tomatoes, but I don't think they're Everglades tomatoes. Uh, the basil's looking good back here, but it's time to get the basil in the beds. 
uh, because they're getting kind of leggy. Uh, here we have okra, and this is tomatoes, and there, you see, it's, they're getting long. It's time to get them out of these small pots and get them into the ground. But I can't do that until the frost comes. So that's my problem. I could up-pot them. These are the what's left over, and, like, uh, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm going to do with these. Probably going to end up in compost. But let's just say they didn't thrive really that well but I'm not giving up on them we're gonna see what's happening so over here is really the what's left so these are the backup to the backup these are just a few days away from heading to the compost pile because I don't think they did very well uh, I'm coming up with a video I'm coming up with a video on what I did wrong in seeding my plants because I've learned a lot uh, I didn't do it right and then I had some mistakes. I don't really know uh, why. So I do know that it's time to get these guys that I have started into the ground. And I'm just held up by that one night of frost. I had really intended on putting my stuff in the ground this past weekend. And then uh, I got busy with work. I just wasn't able to do it. And uh, bam. Uh, you know, that's how it happened. So I'm... Um, I'm operating on a couple hours sleep today, so I don't think I'm going to get much done tonight. Uh, I may come out here after dark and uh, measure off all the beds, lay some string down, and set boundaries. But uh, so far, you can see what it is. Uh, it's time. i got to get the things in the beds now. The temperature's starting to warm up. That's why everything's looking kind of wilty today, because I think it's like 76, almost 80 degrees. And this is our first truly warm day. The potatoes are loving it, and I'm pretty excited about that. And then I have strawberry starts in there that I really have to get into the ground, uh, into the strawberry potters. Because I was at the at the uh, nursery today, and they have strawberry plants on the table that have strawberries on them. So uh, I feel like I'm a little behind a curve on that. So that's it. That's your update for today. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little yard maintenance around the garden and then get the garden set up. I've got to set the trellises up on the one tomato bed, the trellis is up. On the other tomato bed, I gotta make the trellis. And uh, it's gonna be a triple trellis because like I said, I'm going to put the tomatoes in and uh, kind of like a put one in, skip a space, put another one in, skip a space, and then down the center row, I'll put one in where the empty space is on the outside rows. So it'll all be offset. The problem I have is with the uh, tomatoes here, as you can see, I don't know what tomatoes are what. So uh, that's a problem. So ye. we'll see. We'll deal with it. If not, the stores are full of tomatoes. I actually was at the big box store today. I saw a uh, purple tomato that I would like to get and try it out. There were some other types of big tomatoes there. It seems like this year they've already got big plants and not just the small starts. So uh, I don't I don't want to buy great big plants. I want to go ahead and grow them. I would love to get these in the ground and start growing them, but it doesn't make any sense if Saturday it's going to freeze. Yeah, right? So, well, that's it for your garden update. A quick, uh, probably going to be 10 minutes here. As always, you know, if you've got a hobby, uh, let's hear about it, man. Post up what your hobby is. You know, post up on your Facebook page what you do for hobby. You know, I've seen some people are are doing little jewelry art, little bead art kind of stuff. Um, other people riding bikes. Uh, what is it that you do? You know, this, uh, this is essential to my good well-being. You know, uh, hobbies are like that. I've got this. I've got model building. I've got Warhammer. And uh, basically... Um, snacking so there you go that's a hobby <laughs> uh so what do you do so oh and movie critic i'm a movie critic too so uh, if you haven't seen the batman yet you might want to go check it out it's pretty good so but all right so post up uh what you do for a hobby you know and if you're starting to plant let's see some pictures man you know uh, some of you guys are up in the northern zones i'm in 9a on the coast it is time for us to plant we're past our last frost date average even though we have a frost coming up saturday night hopefully that'll be our last frost i can get all this in the ground to get started and then i think i'm actually going to cheat and do a bunch of stuff in pots so 
we'll see pots or buckets so anyway but all right there you go 10 minute update on the uh, garden it's your monday update and i'm carl from cultivate with carl and cultivate that like button and give me a subscribe and leave a comment down in the comments below helps people find my channel and uh that'll be that so be on the lookout for that uh, how i screwed up my seed start video before the end of the week and uh we can learn together that's what it's all about so till next time signing off <laughs>